guys welcome back today I'm really excited about the video it's a car organization video and I don't feel like there's enough of these on YouTube my name is Melody and I, re I really like music and so I have three things that are just for music in my car like everything else in my house I've digitized it completely that really makes a big difference and that's what minimalism is about is about keeping the things that really make a big difference in your life take everything out get rid of all of the excess and then keep only the bare minimal. I used to keep coupons in the car and when I did I would use the bare minimal method which is just to put paper clips on the coupons and put them in the glove box. However, I don't use coupons anymore. If you are someone who has a penchant for coupons, you can get a receipt organizer or you can get an envelope and keep them in there. In the back of my seats, I don't have pockets like I did in my old car like many cars do and if you do then you can put your GPS your umbrella things you rarely use in those back pockets if you have kids there's back of the seat organizers that you can put snacks or books in for the kids so that's one solution and, and for me I just keep these hooks that I keep in the back if I'm riding in the car with someone I'll put the purse on one of the hooks for now I just use it to keep my trash bag and the last thing I want to say is that the ultimate minimal thing is to just use your car as little as possible I try to use it only twice a week three times a week at the very most how I accomplish this is by working from home finding a career that was really challenging so there was a lot of jobs available in this profession you save money on food you eat healthier and you rarely use your car so you're saving a lot of money by working from home in america unless you live in the cities you pretty much need a car especially in the south so if you have to live with it you may as well make the best of the situation if you keep the car as bare minimal as possible and i promise you it'll be so much easier to clean your car and it'll be so much more pleasant driving I'm about two seconds away from my house you can see the walkway if you're looking for a car i would recommend getting one that is silver champagne colored or white because those always look the cleanest. So in the back here, I just keep this car organizer, which was my absolute favorite purchase. It's sturdy, it's affordable, and it keeps everything from rolling around, keeps everything separated. And so here I have my reusable bags. In this bag here, I just have the things I rarely ever use, which is my umbrella, GPS, because I have the GPS on my phone, and then a tire gauge, and also an ice scraper. I just keep it in a plastic bag, easy to access. I just have a regular emergency kit here with velcro on the bottom so it doesn't slide around. I just put it in there and forget about it. And that's basically all that I keep in the back. I keep it as bare as possible so it's completely functional. In the back here I just have these really cheap $5 holders for my trash. If you don't always have space to put your purse and you want to put it in the back, it also holds your purse up. And here is the overview of the front and the only thing I keep in the door is this duster that I use to dust the dashboard. So if you're going to get a dashboard, I would recommend getting one that has a light color. But if you have a black one, that's perfect and I'll link that down below as well. In the glove box here, I just keep my registration and car insurance and napkins. If you don't have a separation, you can keep your napkins in an envelope to prevent them from getting dirty. But I rarely go into this area unless I need a napkin because I rarely eat in the car. I don't like eating in the car as it's hard to get all the trash out or not to get the car dirty and it's and it's expensive to clean it or it takes a lot of work to clean the car so I'd rather eat inside the house. And in the envelope, I just keep two things, registration and car insurance. And in my car insurance, I cut it down to size. So I didn't keep the car insurance on one long paper. And the same thing with the registration, it came with things stapled to it. And I just took it all off and made it really simple. The point of it is just to keep as few things as possible. And then of the things you keep in, make sure you minimize it. And if you have to keep the envelope down below, you can get a bright colored envelope or use a marker and color all over it to make it bright so you can easily see it if you get pulled over. So those are my tips for the glove box. In this area here, I just keep the iPod things. And so if you have a lot of cords and you wanna keep them separate from each other, this center console is perfect for that. I have my phone charger and just my Bluetooth in there. And so then it doesn't get tangled with the other cords. One thing I really like about this car is it how, how it hides the iPod when it's not in use. I just have a basic shoe organizer, which is one of my favorite organizing products. I keep my shoes and I keep my cardigans that I need. I also keep socks and my mittens and scarf here. It's easy to grab as I'm heading out and doesn't clutter my main closet. And then I have my two main jackets. So these can hold up to seven pounds, which really wasn't necessary. It's kind of overkill because this one, this jacket that I wear all the time is really lightweight. 
those hooks are so sturdy you could put a really heavy winter coat and it would still keep it up just fine and then at the very top i keep my most used shoes which are my sneakers and i put the shelf liner so dust and other things don't fall through the cracks then up here i just have a hook that i can put another jacket i used to have a necklace there which is why i have those clear nubs and it wouldn't be hitting the door and then i have this alpha cart organizer you can see my citibank card that i always recommend measuring tape my purse that i've talked about in other videos and there is nothing in there i keep it bare when it's not in use i don't always use a purse i try to use a purse as little as possible at the very bottom are just reusable bags that i got off amazon that i use whenever i go to the store so thank you so much for watching i hope you got a few tips for your own car and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next sunday